Hey guys, now you can follow me on Facebook. Just go to facebook.com slash ultramaximusreviews. <laughs>
And then she's got some blue magic effects in there, looking all kinds of cool. But this is definitely a sick looking figure. I am liking it, and I don't even have it out of the box yet. Here she is on the back, looking all kinds of cool. I can just already tell that this is going to be in my top 10 uh, Marvel Legends for 2018. Uh, I just hope the joints are nice and stiff on it, and it's not a loosey-goosey, floppity mess. All right, so next up, I've got the Gizmo Duck from DuckTales and the Transformers uh, trading card game. Like I said, I picked the trading card game uh, set up at uh, my local comic book store, Comic Book University, and uh, this retails for $15. Uh, I think it was $14.99, uh, and uh, it comes with uh, 40 battle cards and four foil Transformers. Uh, it's got uh, Red Alert, Ironhide, Optimus Prime, and Bumblebee in the starter pack, uh, which is very, very cool. And then on the back side, we see what it looks like on the back. Um, and then I also picked up two of the booster packs right here. Um, very large. These are very big cards. Very strange. Um, and these were $3.99 a piece. And, uh, you know, I was talking to the guys at the shop, and there were people actually playing this game at the store while I picked these up. And they've been having uh, a lot of regulars, you know, uh, about a dozen or so regulars coming in uh, on game night to actually play this game. So they said it's, it's been very, very popular. And they're one of the few comic shops left in the Indy Metro area that still have the starter packs. So if you're looking for these, they do have them at Comic Book University. So if you're in the Indy Metro area, go check them out. They'll definitely uh, sell them to you because they like to do that. And they've got a beautiful game room there too. And you can make some friends there while you play. It's a good time. Good time for everybody. Uh, and then uh, I was at GameStop and I found uh, this Gizmo Duck. This was one I was definitely wanting from Funko. Uh, they don't show any of the other figures in the set. They had a Launchpad McQuack. Um, and I passed on him. He's an okay figure. Uh, but I definitely wanted Gizmo Duck because he was one of my favorites uh, back in the 90s. And this is the first time that I know of that we've gotten an actual action figure of him. Now, unfortunately, he comes with a figure stand, so he's not going to be able to stand on his own, but, I mean, he's on a little tread wheel, so I, I, I kind of get that. Next up, we have the Thundercats. Oh! Now, these are really cool looking. Uh, they're the Savage World uh, series from Funko, the kind of He-Man Masters of the Universe style figures, and I knew they were out. I've seen people uh, posting images of them on the Facebook pages which is really cool, and I just happened to go to my uh, GameStop over in Southport. I was over at the Target and swung in there. They're usually pretty good at action figures, and they had the full first wave, and I was like, yes. And I'm really, really excited about these. I loved the horror film ones. Um, I think these just lend themselves a lot better uh, to this style. Um, they're definitely very cool, and uh, there's going to be two waves. And this is the first time I've seen images of the second wave with Tigra and Chitara and uh, Monkeyan and uh, Jackalman. Uh, they definitely look pretty cool. Cannot wait for those guys. I don't know when wave two will be out, but I will definitely be picking them up. So Lion-O looks pretty darn cool. Mumra, I think, probably looks the coolest out of Wave 1. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? He looks pretty darn cool. I like the artwork up in the corners of them. They definitely look cool. Uh, Panthro looks like he has a very large head. I don't know why, but he looks pretty neat. Um, definitely like him, too. Uh, very cool. And then uh, we've got Slive. He was one of my favorite toys as a kid. Uh, definitely loved that figure. Uh, he looks a lot thinner uh, in this incarnation than he did in the old uh, Thundercats action figures. But that's all right. He dropped a few pounds. He's trying to look out for his health, man. But yeah, these guys are definitely cool. Cannot wait to take a look at these. Of course, I'll be looking at them uh, a figure at a time. So this will be another one of those... Um, of course, I'll be looking at these uh, one figure at a time, so this will definitely be a week-long event. Uh, taking a look at these guys uh, this November. And finally, we have Prada King. So this is the Titans class uh, figure set for Power of the Primes. Um, it is the equivalent to Devastator that we had gotten. Uh, of course, Prada King comes with five Voyager class 
uh, Predacons, which is very, very cool. Now, I've got the um, reissue Predaking with the uh, D is a DX9 upgrade parts, and that's pretty awesome. I'm interested to see how this uh, stacks up. I got a feeling I'm going to like the original one a little bit better because I've got the add-on parts, but this should be pretty cool for the size. I'm definitely liking uh, the box art here. Uh, the Predacons are right there. Let's see, we got uh, the Predacons up at the top looking all kinds of cool. This thing is just definitely sick. It's got Predaking on the side, nothing really on the other side. Back of the package, yeah! has got uh, Predaking uh, on each side here and then all the different uh, Predacons uh, looking all types of cool. Now this is the first time I've actually seen this figure set in hand. I have never seen this in a store anywhere. The only place I've seen this is like on Big Bad Toy Store. So and I was at the comic book store and I saw this sitting on the shelf. I was like, what? And I was really, really excited. I'm like, okay, this is something I definitely have to have. Uh, so I really appreciate uh, Rob, buddy. Thanks for uh, throwing that back for me. Uh, this thing is definitely sick looking. And I haven't even got it out of the box yet. Now, if you guys have seen this in the stores, leave a comment below. Where have you seen it? Do you see any sitting on the shelf? Have they been flying off? I can see this thing like at Think Geek, uh, definitely, because they had Trypticon for a long time, so I can see them uh, getting this guy. And, uh, you know, I can, I can kind of see it showing up at Ollie's at some point in that $50 sale like they like to do. But yeah, this guy's definitely very cool, and I cannot wait to unbox him. Uh, I will, of course, be looking at each figure individually and then combining it into Predaking. So this will be a week-long event for sure. All right, so there it is, my first toy haul for November. Um, definitely going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to take a look at these figures. Uh, look for videos on these figures coming soon. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Don't forget to subscribe and share, like us on Facebook, and look for more videos in the future.